Doctor, just in terms of overall health, how much do we need how, and how can we tell if we currently have enough in our body? Two separate questions, very good ones. How much do we need is really subject to interpretation. For example, iodine studies were first done in the 1920s and what they tried to do was determine how much iodine it was required so that you didn't get a goiter. Hmm. Those studies were done in Akron, Ohio, which around the Great Lakes area is considered to be the goiter belt. So they took two populations of girls and they gave one population potassium iodide and they gave one population nothing and over a long period of time they compared and said that the girls that had potassium iodide did not get goiters or got very few and the ones that were not receiving iodine got very large goiters. Conclusion of the study is that iodine keeps you from getting a goiter. And at that point in time they determined that about 150 micrograms per day is the amount of iodine that is necessary to keep you from getting a goiter. To this day, clear in 2011, the FDA really has never done any studies to determine the total amount of iodine that is needed in the body to keep you from getting sick and to maintain your health. There's some empiric evidence out there uh, from other, from you can piece together from certain studies that kind of gives you an idea of how much iodine you should have. For example, they know that in order to keep your breasts healthy, for women to maintain healthy breasts, it requires about 3,000 micrograms a day to maintain healthy breasts. And they also know that for the total body, it's about 12,000 micrograms or up to about 12 milligrams a day. That's the same number. 12,000 micrograms is equal to 12 mm -hmm. milligrams. It's the same number. Once you've got your body saturated, that kind of keeps your levels up. That's been some empiric evidence that's been investigated by piecing and patching some things together, but we really don't know exactly how much iodine you need for, for total body health. Can you get too much? It's interesting that they talk about getting too much iodine. There was a study that was done back in the 1940s. It was called the, by two researchers called the wolf chaikoff and it became the wolf chaikoff effect. And what they, they determined was that if you took a very large amount of iodine very quickly, that it would shut your thyroid down and make it stop working. And so a lot of endocrinologists and doctors, they have what we call iodine phobia. They're so concerned that if you start taking iodine supplements or anything, that you're going to shut your thyroid down. Mm. Well, what the doctors failed to understand is that two years later, those same investigators looked further into that shutdown. And what they found was that there was a 48-hour override that if you took a huge amount of iodine that shut down the manufacturing process of your thyroid hormone at most around 48 to 50 hours it would stop your thyroid from working and then it would click in and it would start reacting again and go very much into the normal phase so some of the biggest researchers in thyroid um, uh, textbooks they all say that too much iodine is really a false premise you, if you start slowly and build up now with that said I think iodine needs to be very much respected. In fact, in my hands, and we do a lot of iodine testing and treating in our office, it's, it's apparent to me that iodine has some properties that make it much more like a pharmaceutical drug than actually just like a nutrient. And that's because it's very powerful and it needs to be respected. So people that are on thyroid medication, people that have something called Hashimoto syndrome, which is an inflammation of their thyroid, people that have other types, if they're on other types of medications, particularly medications that have bromine in them, there are lots of things that if you take a lot of iodine, you have to be very careful. And some things that I really believe should be done under the direction of an integrated physician.